Hello everyone, it's Arson Darksy here, and I'm going to try to make this video about as short as I can. It'll probably end up being about 15 or so minutes long by the end of it all. But um, I had already made most of the videos like 14 or 15 minutes in and almost done. And then because I, I still have my storage too full to get any app, even the ones that you guys kindly suggested for me, um, the do or du app or whatever it was called. Um, I still my storage was it was still too full for it, so I don't have a way to edit. I have to still do all these in one take. So um, when I was like fourteen or fifteen minutes in, my mom called me and I wasn't able to edit that part out. So um, I have to start over, and that's okay. Um, uh, let's see. I have I did go through my video that I did do the 14 or 15 minutes of and make a few notes here. Um, so let's see. Uh, this video is a mixture of being by and being for two people on here. Um, it's being an explanation for a lot of things slash being a theory. Um, I guess it's a possible explanation for a lot of things, um, or a theory. Um, it's inspired by Austin's video and Parkway's video. Um, and I saw Austin's video first because I was, um, subscribed to him with the notification and everything. And, um, I wasn't, I didn't yet subscribe to Parkway. So, uh, I'll be talking about this very soon here and by the way don't mind my wallpaper it's just I I just now got this wallpaper like two days ago on my phone because um, I'm trying to memorize this patent number here <laughs> and uh, it's it's a very important patent and I and I can remember about half of it so far I'm really bad with remembering numbers and birthdays and dates and things um, and also, don't mind my voice, please. I had a really bad day. I also haven't slept in like three days. My throat's killing me. And my brain feels like it was like thrown in a blender and then tossed back into my head as a brain smoothie or something. Like, my brain's just not working very well. So I'm sorry if I stutter. I'm sorry if I'm bad at reading the things I'm about to read. But this, I believe, is going to be pretty interesting. Um... Sorry if I do mess up some words. But anyway, here's Austin's video. And I'm just going to show a few key parts here. Not the whole video, but most of it. Hopefully I identify if that's a stone or not. Because as I go on... Sorry. Again, my eyes could be deceiving me, but one of X. Um, what I need for you to do, if possible, what I circled here, that black thing, I need for you to uh, hopefully identify if that's a stump or not. Because as I go on, you can see it starts taking on a head shape. Almost starts to move. Right here especially. I clearly see a head at the top of this thing. Where before it just looked like a rotten stump. And take note. Remember he said it looks like a stump. It looked like a stump. That looks like legs. Dude, I'm convinced. That's legs. That's an upper body. What the hell? See, it changed again. I don't know, man. 
So yeah, that's most of the video. I love Austin. You're such a sweet little chicken nugget. He's such a sweet little fella. Smart as a whip. Very sharp guy. Has a good eye on him. I tell you, I wouldn't have caught any of that. Even when I did go to Parkway's video here and uh, play it slowly, I still just, I couldn't catch it. But I'm trying to find that familiar looking spot so you can tell for sure that that's you know that's the video but anyway that's what I wanted to show you and now I'm gonna read something very interesting um, now he said that he thinks it could be Bigfoot or it could be you know something else could be a ghost whatever and uh, I remember that Native American tribes can think that, or uh, excuse me, Native, I mean, ugh, Native American tribes, a lot of them believe that Bigfoot has magical powers, or what we call Bigfoot has magical powers of some kind. Um, let you read that a bit. I don't think this is what I wanted to show exactly. Maybe it was up here. Yeah. So there's that. And then I wanted to read this to you. And I'm sorry if I can't pronounce things perfectly. I'm going to do my best. Jenny, plural Jen, also called Genie. Arabic Jinni in Arabic mythology, a yeah, mythology, a supernatural spirit below the level of angels and devils, ghoul, treacherous, treacherous spirits of changing shape, Ifrit, diabolic evil spirits in Sila, treacherous spirits of invariable form, constitute classes of jinn. Jinn are beings of flame or air who are capable of assuming human or animal form and are said to dwell in all conceivable and animate objects, stones, trees, ruins, underneath the earth, in the air, and in the fire. They possess the bodily needs of human beings uh, and can even be killed. Now, first, let's make a few notes here. It's interesting that it says flame or air. Jinn are beings of flame or air who are capable of assuming human. Human? Hey, could be an explanation for a few things. I'm just saying. Human or animal form. And I remember hearing um, a story uh, about this person that was like, either he was camping with a Navajo Indian or... He was talking to a Navajo friend who was telling him a story or something, but something about a skinwalker. This made me think of skinwalkers where they, I remember a very disturbing story where there's a dog and it looked mostly like a dog, but they said it had like human eyes, like, and, and it, the only weird thing was that it was standing perfectly still. It had human eyes and only its tail was w wagging or something. It was really weird. I don't know. That's just, that freaks me out. I can't talk straight when I talk about this creepy stuff, man. I'm sorry if I keep messing my words up. Um, and they are said to dwell in all conceivable inanimate objects. Now, just a, a few weeks ago, maybe like three weeks ago, give or take, I saw this video where this guy, uh, it was a very quick video of a, cl a cluster of balloons in the air, it was a, you know, a bunch of different colored balloons in the air, and it had like this stuff dropping down from it, and he called them orbs. Now, I don't necessarily believe in all of this stuff, but after researching this for well over 11 years now, going on 12, you know, I, I know that I have to keep an open mind and that anything is possible in this world. And if you go in this world cocky, thinking you know everything because 
you went to school, <laughs> any kind of school, I mean, you, you're gonna, you're gonna have a lot of rude awakenings in life coming up very soon, you know, and I'm not saying I know everything, but I am saying that I'm willing to question everything, even if it sounds like a quite crazy, uh, a crazy question, and, um, you know, there's nothing wrong with looking into things. People seem ashamed to look into things and to question things and have an open mind. And that's sad. But anyway, I digress. Um, there's a cluster of balloons that had stuff coming off of it. He said there were orbs. Um, you know, I don't have any opinion on really that whatsoever, but I, it, it did spark my interest because that, that was the first time I'd ever heard anything like that before about, you know, demonic balloons or, or what have you, um, gin balloons, possibly whatever these are, things are called. And, um, you know, that was very interesting. So I, I looked into it on YouTube and, you know, first of all, it's kind of hard to find these videos, most of them, but I saw one where there's this cluster of balloons very high up in the air. And after several minutes, I want to say it was between like 40 minutes and a, I mean, sorry, between 40 seconds and a minute, um, give or take, um, after, you know, between like 40 seconds and a minute or so, the cluster of balloons turned into like this one full circle. Like it was a perfect circle and it looked like a black hole basically just floating away and it was very strange, and, um, so that piqued my interest even more, and, um, then I saw one that people were calling a UFO, and it was just moving just un in an unnatural way. I don't know how to describe it. Uh, maybe we can look through those videos together another time, but the other note I wanted to make was, in the video Austin has, he said that it looked like a stump. He said it looked like a rotten stump. And here it says they can, they are said to dwell in all conceivable and animate objects, stones, trees, ruins, underneath the earth, in the air, and in fire. So when I think in the air, I think that means, you know, pretty much anywhere on earth, basically, right? Or they could be birds. I've heard of, you know, after the I looked into the balloon thing, then I looked into people saying there are airplanes that aren't actually airplanes and just went down this whole rabbit hole. So you never know. I'm not saying I believe or don't believe. I'm on the fence. I prefer to stay on the fence for now and just research. But... You know, that's interesting, Him, you know, it's saying a tree, and him then, him in his video saying it was a tree stump, it looked like one, um, and then changed shape, you know, that's very interesting, it makes me wonder, you know, uh, underneath the earth, in the air, and in the fire, they possess the bodily needs of human beings, uh, I always get caught up because I'm like, bodily needs, that's such a weird thing to say, I'm sorry, they possess the bodily needs of human beings and can even be killed, but they are free from all physical restraints. So they can like shapeshift, basically, it sounds like. Jen delight in punishing humans for any harm done to them, intentionally or unintentionally, and are said to be responsible for many diseases and all kinds of accidents. However, those human beings, knowing the proper magical procedure, can exploit the jinn to their advantage. Um, belief in jinn was common in early Arabia, where they were taught to inspire poets and soothsayers. Hmm? Belief in jinn was common in early Arabia, where they were thought to inspire. Inspire. Poets and soothsayers. How many times have we heard, you know, the Beatles talking about getting, you know, didn't they say some of their things were just almost magically written for them? Or, you know, I've heard that from somebody, some rock band or somebody. Um, and, and Michael Jackson got his, his, uh, 
songs and dreams apparently and he had a mirror room and and these satanic people or luciferians have these rooms of mirrors and 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 all kinds of stuff and they get in, inspired and they get either art artistic ideas so-called artistic ideas from what you know whatever these things are and maybe it's this belief in jinn was a common was common in early Arabia, where they were thought to inspire poets and soothsayers. Even Muhammad originally fe feared that his revelations might be the work of jinn. Their existence was further acknowledged in official Islam, which in indicated that they, like, ugh, like human beings, would have to face eventual salvation or damnation. Jinn, especially through their association with magic, have always been favorite figures in North African, Egyptian, uh, Cyrenian, uh, I can't talk today, Persian and Turkish folklore, and are the center of an immense popular literature, appearing notably in the Thousand and one nights. In India and Indonesia, they have entered local Islam imaginations uh, by way of the Quranic descriptions and Arabic, Arabic literature. Good grief. I cannot read today. <sighs> Maybe I should redo this video, honestly. I'm tempted to. I'm just, I really had such a rough day, guys. You don't know the half of it, so... I'm surprised I can talk to begin with, but this really interested me, and I just really wanted to get this out there. Um, I thought this was, you know, something to look into. I don't know. What do you guys think? I think this is all I really wanted to say. Um, this was inspired by Austin and Parkway. Thank you for your videos. Uh, and I did click on Parkway and show their channel. Yes, I did. That's them. And, uh, so yeah, thank you, Austin. Thank you, Parkway. Thank you guys, uh, for inspiring this video. It's, you know, it's an interesting theory. It's an inter interesting thought. Um, I want to talk about this patent one of these days. Um, US 6506148B2 about how your television, your, you know, your phone, your computer, many devices can affect your nervous system, can affect your emotions, you know, beam right into your subconscious mind and affect your future opinions and what have you. I mean, when did we consent to human experimentation? I don't remember consenting. Is that what birth certificates are? Are they cons are they really just your parents signing you over? Because, you know, I, I know that it's a contract of slavery. But is this really a part of that, too? I, I don't know. I don't know, man. I'm, we should get into that more later. Let me check my notes, make sure there's nothing I'm forgetting. Um, yeah. I think that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. I really, really appreciate, you know, this little tiny community starting up. And, and it's I wouldn't call it a community, but kind of, you know, we're, we're all folks who are believing in the similar things. And even if we don't all agree on the exact same things, like, I don't care if people, you know, I don't care very much people want to support whoever they want to support if people love ariana grande if people love you know barack obama i don't know whatever you know as long as i can tell that they're seeking the truth and they're waking up i know they will eventually figure things out and i just want to be a supportive person but it's nice to know that i have very awake people here you know supporting me i really love you guys and um you know, I just, I hope there's, I hope there's some way we can all keep in touch because I, I'm worried the internet is going to be cut out one of these days when, when things really get crazy, you know, and uh, I don't know. I just, I can't stop 
my brain from thinking about everything all at once. It's very overwhelming, isn't it? <laughs> when you when you overthink, and that's just how you are as a person. That's me. That's my middle name. Arson overthinking Darcy. Anyway, I love you guys so much. I think I'll post this on both my channels. And take care.